Hi everyone, I'm Mike from Comp3 Interactive and today we're going to be taking a look at creating an XP levelling system that sort of looks after itself. So there's not much more to say, so let's just jump straight into it. So as you can see, I have a little bit of a project here. Uh, so let me give you a walkthrough of what this is doing. Uh, well, it's not actually doing anything at the moment. But um, what we have, we have some static UI, the backgrounds, texts, and a little bit of an instruction. We also have a button with the plus on it, and a value for a current XP and a XP level up, a target XP. And what we want to be able to do by the end of th this video is we want to be able to click the plus button and every time we do we want to increment our current XP by a set amount and when our current XP reaches our level up XP limit we want to level our character up by one reset our current XP and increment our level up XP we'll create a new folder for our scripts so everything's nice and tidy and inside we'll create a C sharp script called not score manager XP manager and we'll open this up in Visual Studio now we can get rid of our start and update functions and what do we need we're gonna need to be in well we're gonna be using text mesh pro so we're gonna need two text elements which are going to be uh, public text mesh pro UGUI and that's going to be a current XP text and we're also going to need another one for a target XP text and we're also going to need two public integer values again for our current XP and target XP so we'll just rename these ones to, we'll have these ones as current and target XP and we'll just add text to these ones so we don't get confused. So as I say in a previous video, we only ever want one XP manager, uh, it wouldn't make any sense to have any more. So we'll create a singleton instance out of this. Uh, if you don't know what a singleton is, I'll put a link up to my singleton video. Make sure you check that out for a more in-depth description. Uh, but basically all we have to do is make a public static XP manager. We'll call it instance. And in our awake method, we'll check if instance is equal to null. If it is, we don't already have an instance, so we'll call uh, we'll set instance equal to this else we will destroy the game object simple as that I've got the bracket the wrong way around there we go so now that we have our instance we'll add in a few public methods a public add XB and that will take in an integer value of how much XB we want void that's what I'm missing and in this current XP will be plus equal to the XP that we've passed in and we also want to set our current XP text dot text equal to our current XP and we'll put that to string while it's an integer so if we create one more script and this time what was that unity has no idea what it's doing we'll create a new c sharp script we'll call this player and open it up in visual studio and inside player what we're going to do we're going to add a public void button pressed and every time we press that button we want to call XP managers 
instance dot add xp and we'll give ourselves 10 xp so if we jump back to unity we can quickly set up these scripts i'm clearing that error i don't know what that error was on our canvas we'll throw in our xp manager we'll set our current xp text and uh, target text current xp 0 target xp 100 and on our button if we attach player to it this is very messy but we're not creating a player here we can call our player dot where is it Have I not made it public? I've made it public. Button pressed. Have I just missed it? Player. Button pressed. I just missed it. So if we play the game, we should see our current XP goes up by 10 every time we click it. Perfect. But now, we want to use our XP to level up. So let's jump back over into Visual Studio. And we're going to add a reference to our leveling components. So we'll add a level text, text element, and a level integer. We're also going to want to initialize all of our UI. So if we add in a start method, we can current xp dot text equals current xp to string. Same for. What's happening? Same for our target XB text will be target XB and our level text will be equal to level. There we go. So let's get leveling. Okay, so in between where we add our XP that we've passed in and when we update our UI we want to do a simple if statement so we want to check if our current XP is greater than or equal to our target XP now if it is we're ready to level up so there's a few things we need to do we first need to set our current XP equal to our target XP minus our current xp so the reason we do that is for example if your target xp is 100 and your current xp is 105 you don't want to reset current xp back to zero you want to level up and then give your player 5 xp from the start we also want to increment our level by one and then we want to update level text dot text equal to our new level dot to string so if we save that and head back over into unity we should be able to play our game we are level one zero xp but we need 100 to level up if we keep going we see that we've reset to zero and we've gone to level two but if we set our target to 95 for example and do the same again we should end up with a remainder of 5 xp which should go straight back into our current xp pool which it doesn't why has it gone negative i've got those the wrong way around it should be current xp <laughs> minus target xp that should work so if we jump back over and try that one more time go up and we have a remainder of five so everything's working as we expect so far so we'll go ahead and quickly increment our target by 10 percent of its original value so if we do level up we'll just add a little comment in here so we know that this is the little section for leveling up what we'll do is we'll set target xp to be plus equals 
target XP divided by 20. So we'll increment target XP by 20% of itself every time. And we'll make sure that we update the UI so our target XP text dot text equals target XP dot to string. We'll just check that's working. Have not had a good track record so far. Everything's working first time. Fingers crossed. So we level up and our XP increments quite nicely. But now what happens if we set the XP gained each time we click to, I don't know, 250. We've just killed a boss and we've got 250 XP from it. Now our target XP is only 95 at this point. So really we should be leveling up twice for this kill. But let's see what happens. We click once. It's incremented once but we have 155 current XP, which is obviously wrong, because our XP to level up is 99. So what do we do to fix that? Well, we can simply change our if statement to a while statement. If we save it, we should level up twice, and our calculations should be correct on screen. We press it once, we are level 3, it's incremented twice for our XP to level up, and we've got a remainder of 56 XP. Press it again for another 250, we go to level 5, current XP is 95, and our next level will be 113. So we can just keep going on this now, everything seems to be working perfectly fine. So I hope you can see how easy it is to implement an XP leveling system into your game. Obviously your game won't give you free XP every time you press a button, this is just an example. But the principle's the same. Uh, you just call your XP manager dot add XP every time you kill an enemy, pass in the valid amount of XP and let the back end take care of itself. And with that, I think this lesson's done for the day. If you've learned something today, then drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also find us over on social media for more bite-sized Unity and C-Sharp tips. I've been Mike for Comp3 Interactive, and I'll see you again soon.